Hey, what's going on? Matthew Tamer here. Listen, I hope that you're having a wonderful, magnificent, and an incredible day. You know, I'm going to be answering a lot of questions because I get so many questions from people and sometimes I just don't always get around to it. So what I'm doing now is uh, answer questions. So if you have a question about your business, about Joomla and things like that, make sure to leave in the comment section or just reach out to me and I'll do the best that I can to um, respond to that. But someone asked me, you know, why did I choose Joomla over, let's say, Word? WordPress and other software that's out there and this is really this is a great question so a little bit about my background I first started um, as a musician you know I pl I'm a young musician I play the piano and I also teach piano so I also love to write and back I graduated college in 2005 when I was 20 with a psychology and a music degree and at the time I wrote my first book so I published that book and I wanted, I wanted to find a way to reach more people, you know? So I started with um, just a basic website, uh, you know, software. So I used that and I started to build with it, but then I realized that the limitations were, you know, were just too much for me and I needed something a little bit more. So I kept researching to figure out, you know, what softwares can I use to be able to build? Now I did come across WordPress. And, you know, I give it I give it a shot. Now, WordPress is a great and incredible platform. Amazing platform is, is, you know, helping so many people empower so many websites. And I tried it. But for some reason, I just at the time, it, it seemed a lot more difficult to me to grasp WordPress at that time. That's when also at the same time, I also learned about Joomla. And when I looked at Joomla, I'm like, you know, this the, the interface, the WordPress interface and the Joomla interface are two different interfaces. And when I looked at Joomla, I'm like, wow, I can get my head around this. So at the time, Joomla seemed to be a lot more easier for me to learn. Now, this like over 10 years ago. So it's a lot easier for me to learn uh, than WordPress was. And I realized that with Joomla, I could be able to do, you know, more and, and flexibility. So I started using it and uh, I'm glad that I did. In 2008, I went through uh, my, my daughter was just born. Uh, first one got four of them, <laughs> you know, uh, the first one was born and I was working at this as, at a treatment center. And one day I got in the office and they told me that, listen, you're fired. So here I am, just had a baby two weeks and I got fired from my job. I'm like, oh, my goodness, what am I going to do? And I was I cried that day like a baby. I was so discouraged. I was so down. I was hurting. But then I realized that, you know, I have a skill set that I can be able to, to keep doing things for myself. Now, before that, I, I was doing my own business still, but not full into it yet because I had to you know do that job and thing like that. So I started to put out proposals and different things and started doing some freelancing. And less than a week after um, I got fired, I landed my first Joomla gig. I'm a big one at the time, you know, and this company was willing to pay me $500 for me to be able to build a website for him. And I completed the website in less than two weeks after I had just started using Joomla back at it for, you know, a few months or so. But from that, I realized that the flexibility that I was getting with Joomla, um, it, it was incredible. So I just gravitated towards it for me because at the time it just seemed like uh, a lot easier for me to learn. And I just, I love the interface. And then as over time, as time went by, I realized that there are a lot of extensions and extension developers that would add into the community. So uh, it's a great platform, uh, but I also have expertise. I also do video production, which kind of helps me with the web design because I'm able to shoot my own videos and able to edit them. I can do my own 3D, the my own graphics and things like that. And I use all of that skill set. Uh, to be able to supplement with the web design. So for those of you that are using Joomla, if you're frustrated, uh, your frustration sometimes comes from lack of information or training rather. Uh, when I first started Joomla, like I said, over a decade ago, they didn't have the training that they have today. You know, I wish I would have found someone like myself that um, could have taught me how to use Joomla better. But I had to, you know, learn through school the hard knocks and make mistakes and eventually learn. So that's why I'm so passionate about using it and to be able to build uh, websites and to train people to be able to do the exact same thing. So make sure that if you have questions, please leave them in the comment. Uh, I'll do the best that I can to get back at them. And you have a wonderful day.